let's talk about robots and how to get a real handle on things literally how they get handle on things like our body parts let's talk about it so welcome to Uden set a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality and beyond in the age of artificial intelligence and advanced robotics and let's know our robot partners uh, you see a robot arm normally uh, reaches out the gripper finger uh, closes in and you might think okay it's got it but how does does this robot know it's really got it that is our question today and we'll talk about it so let's get into today's topic how a robots know that it really has got your thing okay let's dive in before we proceed let me tell you one thing if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe it means a lot to me and if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support look not just touching mind you but a proper form confident grip that really matters and that won't drop the prize or perhaps worse crush it into technological dust and it's a it's it's always a good question one that takes us deep into the nuts and bolts or rather the sensors and algorithms that give robots their sense of touch it's far more involved than uh, simply closing its metallic fingers and hoping for the best no that does not happen here at least in the modern robotics world imagine trying to pick up a delicate wine glass while wearing oven mitts you have got contact sure but you have no earthly idea if you are about to send it crushing it to floor or if it's safely nestled early robots were a bit like that are quite messy quite messy they don't have that knowledge what they're doing they don't have that knowledge what they have really got in their hands they could be programmed to close their grippers to a certain position or with a certain amount of motor force a bit like uh, setting a dial they could be programmed to close their grippers to a certain position or with a certain amount of motor force a bit like uh, doing something else they know uh, they should be holding something but they didn't truly feel it the object was just an obstacle that stopped their movement or caused a motor strain this worked fine for predictable factory what is that predictable factory lines where every object was the same in the past but the real world is different so the real world laughs at this predictable uh, factory lines therefore engineers started giving robots senses beyond just sight and position encoders four sensors were on early crucial step placed at the wrist or in the fingers these are essentially sophisticated electronic springboards when the robot makes contact and pushes against something or when the object pushes back these sensors measure the force and torque are involved here it is a robot's first real conversation with the object hello there how firmly are we acquainted this feedback allows the robot to stop closing its gripper when the force reaches a certain threshold preventing crashing and other disaster it can also detect if an object is heavier than expected or 
if it's encountering resistant resistance it should it should be like a stock part it's a big leap from blindly closing its hand which was uh, being done in in the past and now uh, at present it knows the strength of the connection which makes a big difference however knowing the total force is still like knowing someone is pushing you without knowing if it's a firm hand on your shoulder or just a general uh, crowd pressure right for a truly dexterous grip remember truly dexterous grip the robot needs to know where it is touching which body part it is touching whether it's your shoulder whether it's your hand whether it's your legs or something else it must know where it is touching and the distribution of pressure is really uh, something very important here in this case and tactile sensor arrays i talked about it in my early videos but tactile sensor arrays have a huge role to play here picture a patch of robot skin covered in thousands of tiny pressure sensitive points i also talked about it in my previous video in detail so if you have not watched it i will request you to watch that video if you really want to know your robot partner from head it to its toe so uh, when the robot grasps an object a body part this skin creates a pressure map and it can see in a sense the shape of the contact area and identify points of high and low pressure this is vital for adjusting the grip shifting pressure to get a better hold or ensuring the force is distributed evenly across a fragile surface it's a difference between palming a ball and trying to pick it up with just two fingertips it, it is just like that the pressure map tells the robot which strategy is happening and if it is effective now here is where things get really interesting where robots start moving beyond a basic sense of pressure to something closer to human touch knowing pressure is good but it does not tell you if you are holding sandpaper or silk a hot potato or a cold drink or if that perfectly grasped object is about to slip right out of your hand for that you need texture yes texture knowing texture or feeling texture is extremely important and i'll talk about it tomorrow in my tomorrow's video about how it happens feeling text texture is something we humans do without thinking but how does robot uh, does that i'll talk about it in my next video so don't forget to watch that video okay here is a quick rundown on how robots get a solid grip forget just closing their fingers around your body parts any body parts you can imagine of early robots were blind to touch relying only on position or basic force that wasn't enough for the real messy world however engineers first gave them force sensors to measure the push and shove of contact a basic handshake with an object then came tactile arrays like simple pressure maps showing where contact was meant but to really know what they have got hold robots need finger senses yes finger senses just like us so they now use advanced tactile sensors to feel texture by analyzing vibrations as they brush a surface identifying materials like uh, whether it's a uh, sandpaper or a human skin 
or silk. Temperature sensors, I will talk about it later in my later video. Temperature sensors detect heat transfer and it gives clues about what the object is made of. That means when it touches your body part, in particular body part, it knows what is its function. It knows that uh, knows about what the object is made of, whether it is made of muscles, tissues, skin, everything about it. Crucially, vibration sensors listen for tiny tremors if it uh, shakes or getting hard or something like that. That signal an object is starting to sleep. That means triggering instant grip adjustments before it either uh, loses the grips or uh, just slips it or any other disaster strikes. Therefore, combining these inputs that comes from uh, temperature sensors, comes from uh, vibration sensors, comes, comes from tactile sensors, combining these inputs, force, pressure, texture, temperature and vibration of course, they give robots a comprehensive feel for their grip. Driven by research into flexible e-skins and artificial intelligence, AI, this multimodal sensing is how robots are learning to handle objects with dexterity, adapting to the uh, world uh, through touch or much, uh, it, it is much like us. And if you really like this video, please uh, share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified. And please consider signing up for our membership zone. That will really, really help us, support us a lot. So see you in the next video where I will talk about the filling texture. What is kind, what is filling texture for your robot partner? So see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Stay safe and take care.